Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Steve, Pharos, the derelict planet. Okay, Matt. Is Robert in central control? Yep, Steve. Just so his light go up. Right, Professor. Come forward to main control. I'm preparing to detach Fireball Junior. We'll leave Robert in orbit. <laughs> What a dismal planet. Everything falling to pieces. It's what we expected, Venus. Remember, the robot miners took every piece of solivium away from Paris years ago. Yeah, now the planet is so riddled with mine shafts, it could break up at any minute. I don't want to be around when it happens. Say, look, over there. Those flowers. They're just beautiful. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can stay there. Just looking at those cliffs is enough to make them fall down. Venus, you come with me. Uh, Matt, do a little exploring and report back in an hour. Okay, Steve. Figured. Pretty dangerous. Okay, Venus, I've seen enough. Let's get out of here. What do you think, Matt? The planet will have to be destroyed, Steve, before it just falls apart. Now, that'll be my recommendation, that's for sure. 
Come on, let's get back and make out our reports. Well, I suppose that's one planet less in the universe. At least there's no life here to worry about. I never thought when we landed, we would meet the cursed Steve Zodiac. Did you hear what they said? They are going to return here and destroy this planet. I heard. This is perfect. The planet will not be the only thing to be destroyed. <laughs> Radio Space City, Venus. They can start the landing countdown. Right, Steve. I'm sure looking forward to seeing Zuni again. Yeah. Hope he hasn't caused Commander Zero too much trouble. Everything A-OK, -okay, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. XL-5 is just coming in. Uh, you wouldn't know where Zuni is, would you, sir? Lieutenant, I'm a commander, not a lassoon keeper. I haven't seen him all day. He's probably asleep somewhere. I hope. on whoever caused this. Oh. oh, look at the mess. Oh, I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, laddie, when the commander hears about this. You stupid, idiotic creature. Do you know how much damage you've done? Come back here when I'm shouting at you. But, but he didn't mean it, commander. You keep out of this, Venus. Why, I ought to take you and fire you into space. Unexplored space, so you couldn't get up to your mischief, you overgrown, half-baked son of a... Oh, make him stop, Steve. No, Venus, this time Zuni's got to be punished. He's got to learn sometime. Now get him out of here. I just don't want to see him anymore. <coughs> Come on, Zuni. <coughs> Now, perhaps we can get some work done. Okay, Commander. Let's go into the viewing theater. We'll see the film we shot on planet Pharos. Well, gentlemen, I agree with you. It'll have to be destroyed. How about missiles? Well, Commander, with the planet in its present condition, missiles would only break it up. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's very close to the freighter routes. If it broke up, it'd take years to clear it away. Then it'll have to be complete disintegration. You can use Vesivium-9. Vesivium? Vesivium-9? Oh, what's the matter, Professor? What? That's the greatest explosive force in the universe. Exactly. That's why it will disintegrate a planet. And for what you tell me, there's no time to lose.
If they make you leave Space City, I won't be able to stop them. <coughs> and I just couldn't bear to lose you, Zuni. Oh, Steve, it's you. Please let Zuni come with us. What? You can't be so tooty as to want him around with our cargo. Oh, but, but he wouldn't be any trouble, Steve. Please. Please, Steve. I can't leave him with the commander. You know that. That's right. You can't leave him with the commander. And I'll tell you something else. You can't bring him aboard Fireball, either. Oh. Oh, you... You beast! <laughs> uh, I guess it won't hurt to have two beasts aboard Fireball. Okay, he can come. But on my terms. <laughs> Welcome! Oh! <laughs> All stations, stand by. Clear space routes, XL-5 priority liftoff. There they go. Good luck, XL-5. You're gonna need it. Maintain course, Robert. My nine goes. Can I go and see Zuni, Steve? Okay, just so long as you don't let him out. I'll go to the nav bay and see how Matt's making out. Hey, what's that? <laughs> now, now, pull yourself together, Matthew Matic. No time to go all to pieces. <laughs> Welcome home! Welcome home! Zuni, my poor little Zuni. <laughs> See, there's not so much noise. Take it easy, Professor. It won't go off until it's activated. Oh, well, maybe. But why did they have to put it in here? So that you could look after it. Don't worry, Matt, it's... Steve! Hey, don't move! What's wrong? You're wearing a ray gun! There's no danger. The capsule! In that ray gun! It could explode! Only when it's taken out. Honestly, Matt, I wish you'd calm down. <laughs> Zodiac. <laughs> what do we do now? First, we'll see how they intend to blow up the planet. Yeah. We might find a way to keep them on it. <laughs> okay, let's get this unloaded. Uh, where are you gonna put it, Steve? I found just the place on my last trip here. One of the old mine shafts. <laughs> Okay, but it sure is a slow business. XL-5 calling Space City. Colonel Zodiac reporting. Zero hour for explosion, 1,600 hours. Message understood. I will divert all space freight. Roger. Over and out. Steve, can I let Zuni out now? Well, I guess it'll be okay. But under no circumstances is he to leave the ship. Their bomb is ready. 
Now we must wait for Steve Zodiac and the beautiful Earth Woman. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> Now, Zuni, you must stay with Robert. You understand? And please, please be good. Come on, Venus. Matt will be waiting. Coming, Steve. Steve, do you think I'll have time to get some of those lovely flowers? <laughs> Okay, Matt. Set it for one hour from now. That should give us plenty of time to get clear. <laughs> okay, Steve. It's set to go. Nothing can stop it now. What's happened, Steve? There seems to have been some kind of rockfall. The entrance is blocked. Oh, Steve. What do we do? Our plan has worked. They will never escape. Come, let us leave while there is still time. Back to our spaceship. There's not much time, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I know. But there must be a way out. There must be. They should have left by now, Lieutenant. There must be an answer. According to our instruments, the XL-5 is still on the planet. I'll call them again, sir. Space City calling XL-5. Space City calling XL-5. By the look of this place, we won't have to wait for the bomb. We'll be buried alive. Forty-five minutes left, Steve. Isn't there any way you can stop this thing, Matt? Not a chance. It's set to go off at 1,600 hours. If I touch it, it'll explode immediately. Oh, Steve, I'm scared. And poor little Zuni and Robert. Well, it won't make much difference to Robert. Robert? That's it. That could be the answer. What do you mean, Steve? I don't understand. I could direct him here on the Jetmobile radio. He might clear a way through for us. Well, it's a long shot, but I guess it's better than doing nothing. Robert, Robert, listen carefully. You are to collect a thruster pack and leave the XL-5. Take a UHF radio with you and await further instructions. Let's hope it works, Steve. Yeah. You take a jetmobile up to the opening mat and listen for Robert. Leave the eggs alive. should be on the surface by now. I'll call him. Robert, you are now to proceed in the following direction. Steer 1890 white. He's here, Steve. I can hear him outside. Okay, Matt. Now, Robert. Move the rocks. Move the rocks. Move the rocks. Steve. 
Steve, it's no use. It's like asking a man to move a mountain. All right, Robert. Return to XL5. But Steve, Robert, he was our last chance. There's only 20 minutes left. They've got to leave that place by 1530, Lieutenant. Otherwise, Fireball won't get clear of the explosion. Yes, sir. Boy, if they get out of this, I'll even forgive Zuni. Calling XL5. Calling XL5. Ten minutes, and it'll all be over. Oh, Steve. Hey, Steve, you're still wearing your rigor. Now, don't start that again, Matt. But, but, but the capsule in it is highly explosive. Only when it's taken out of the gun. Hey, of course, you're right, Matt. If I remove the capsule, it could blow up and clear the opening. Be careful, Steve. Those atomic capsules can explode as soon as you touch them. Well, in our situation, we've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Six minutes left. Get out of here. Maximum speed, Robert. Maximum speed. Zuni, Zuni, where are you? We're almost out of range. Three minutes to zero. Zuni, Zuni. One minute. Steve, I can't find Zuni anywhere. Don't worry, Venus. He must be on board somewhere. But he isn't. Well, he certainly couldn't have got out. Unless... Unless he followed Robert. Oh, Steve. He must still be on the planet. We've got to go back for him, Steve. How can we? There's only ten seconds left. Zuni! Oh, Zuni! Maintain course, Robert. Mine dine goes. Did, did you hear that, sir? Zuni was on the planet. Of course I heard. Take over, Lieutenant. And to think how mean I was to that poor little Zuni. Anything we can do, Venus? No. No, nothing. We're... we're as sorry as you are. We thought the world of Juni. Oh. Oh, I keep thinking I can hear his voice. I feel as if he's right here in the room with me. Zuni! Oh, Zuni, one of those beautiful flowers. You picked it for me. Welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs>
Be a fireball. 